We're in Mexico City. Fantastic to be back. It's a great circuit, big atmosphere, really passionate fans. This year, we've got a Mexican driver, and with Checo, he's a national hero over here. So, the support for him and the team is is outstanding, and it's a big atmosphere. I'm sure it's only going to get bigger through the weekend, and I really hope we can deliver for all the fans and followers, you know, that are coming out to support us. From my room, I can't see them. There. Perdón, ni por Gracias. Checo, por favor, conmigo. Checo. It's going to be crazy, I think. Unbelievable. It feels like I haven't been here for more than a year, you know, and so many things have have happened in my in my life, in my career that uh, it's nice to see all the the Mexican fans again. We're doing a show run in the most iconic street of Mexico City, which is Reforma. Uh, the street has been closed for the last three days, so people are they're still happy, which is a bit of a surprise. You know, traffic is really crazy here, but and they close uh, one of the main streets, and they're still happy. So. hard because you know you have so much support everyone wants your attention at the time everyone is so passionate about you and uh, about yeah. uh, what you've done in, the, in your life but at the end of the day you cannot forget that you are here to race on Sunday and to win pretty crazy I mean uh, I could hear them from my room you know check out check out check out uh, it's really nice you know they the way they support me, it's unbelievable. Once I go on the, on, on the car or, or once I'm with the engineers, that I'm just treating like, you know, in, in, in other race, come Sunday, Saturday, or even the practices, that you have to disconnect from, from everything. Hi guys, I'm finally here at my home, uh, about to do a show run in one of the most iconic places in Mexico. So. Yeah, looking forward. It's gonna be a very special day for myself. Thanks. Stay tuned. Hi, I really enjoyed it a lot. You know, it's a very busy weekend though, and um, it's very stressful. But I just enjoy everything. You know, having the fans on my side, having so much support. And um, it's only once a year as well, so I do enjoy it a lot.
I feel amazing. It was uh, such a special day, you know, to just uh, the best way to start my, my Grand Prix at home. Event man, it was crazy. Like we couldn't leave. You know? All these people. Oh. <laughs> so many people. You don't see this anywhere, right? You oh, yeah. uh, a little bit. You still? You mean a little bit? Yeah, I I couldn't help it. Yeah. So I was watching you doing the show. They, they told me that you were on. on <laughs> yeah, the I was in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> And I woke up at like 5.30, so at 6 o'clock, I was like, oh, I just have a look outside. Full. Like there were people already look, like waiting for the show. Yeah, there were, there were people camping. I, I was like crazy. Yeah, the whole, I think it's 27 million. It's crazy. Um, I knew Czech, of course, uh, already as a driver in Formula 1. Um, but then, of course, we became teammates and you never know what to expect, right? But I think um, it's been really enjoyable working with Czech. Um, I think we respect each other a lot. Uh, we help the team forward because we're always trying to look for the same thing. Um, but also besides that, it's not only about Formula One, you know, I think also we can have a good conversation about other stuff in life. And um, yeah, I think so far it's been, it's been a really enjoyable partnership. And I'm also, of course, really happy that we can continue this into, into next year. And I would like to ask uh, both of you, you know, uh, which are the toughest times that you have live in this journey to arrive where you are today? At the end of the day, when you look at your calendar in January, you are like, oh, this year I will hardly see my family. I will hardly have uh, time off with, with them. But it's definitely worth it because at the end of the day, it's, it's a dream and we cannot forget how, how lucky, how privileged we are to, to be able to, to do what we love. Venga, Checo. Venga, venga. Checo. Felicidades. We're just growing as a team and some up and downs, a lot of positives, some negatives, but I think we're just going up and the best is, is just to come uh, together. Guys, thanks for coming. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming. I hope you like the food now. It's really, really, this is my favorite restaurant. I really hope you like it. Uh, there's a lot of passion for Formula One here, a lot of passion for Finnish for both drivers, but particularly Checo. So, uh, so it's great to see that, and uh, we've had a great welcome, great reception, and. Um, yeah, loving being in uh, Mexico City. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir, yeah. Signing? No, 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 this gift. Ah! Uh, Azerbaijan is a win. The, uh, uh, Japan made a uh, UOT. Oh! Every size. Arigato. Small, small medium. Large, 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 large. Extra large. Oh, thank you very back, much, back man. Back print and uh, Azerbaijan. Thank you, man. No, 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 no. Please, please. Gift. You know, I thought you want signing. No, no, no. <laughs> Good. Mr. President, you good? You are our president. Yeah. Eh? You are the president here. Yeah. No, you are our president. Ah, I'm direct. <laughs> bueno. Hey, man. Hey, man. You good? Uh, uh, uh. The hey, Dutch. Chico. How are you? Good, man. Thank you for inviting us to your beautiful country. You're welcome. Yeah. You're enjoying it? I don't feel like a... Uh, like a hero, you know, I, I think I just have a lot of support from, from my country. That's something really nice to have. The people now is exciting in the country. Look, the grandstand, the Ole Checo, Viva Mexico, everybody's exciting. But not only in the, in the Autodromo Hermano Rodriguez, in the country, in many states, Guadalajara, in Monterrey, the, the people is very, very happy. Is now start a new arrival, new new hero. Oh, 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 oh.
Good luck for the team, for everybody. And welcome to Mexico. This is your home. The fans are outside the hotel like four hours and into the track. I mean, Sunday is gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Here. It's gonna be a very nice experience, not just for myself. I think for the whole, whole Formula One. My boy is coming. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw. Uh, who told me? Beautiful. <laughs> 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 yeah, you like? Here's my my number. Everything. Yeah, yeah. We do a picture all together. Maybe, yeah, yeah, all together. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jose, no estamos, no estamos. No vemos. Okay, gracias. The biggest difficulty of being an F1 driver, I think, the time, the limited time you have for everything in life. You know, like you are always living in a rush. I think we are used to, but I, I'm sure the time that when you stop uh, your career, it will be like crazy to, to have time to have more than two weeks in a place in the same bed. Checo, really proud of you. I think you're a great example of when preparation meets opportunity. So happy to have you as our driver from Mexico, finally home and representing Red Bull in Mexico where it stands. Hi. We don't realize that our life is so limited with time. Whatever we do, it doesn't matter if we're doing an appearance or if we're doing a dinner with friends or, you know, because you are always thinking, oh, I can go too late to bed because I'm training tomorrow morning and I cannot have a drink because I'm training tomorrow or I have to recover. And that's the most difficult thing of being an F1 driver. Thank you. It's just good memories, to be honest, being on the podium, winning um, in the city, you know, nice restaurants. So um, I've always been happy to, uh, to go back here. A lot of fans there and, and yeah, I'm just so happy to see that people are really enthusiastic about, about the weekend. Everything is sold out. Um, the promoter just told me that he's looking to a way to try to put more grandstands, but, but there's no more space, you know, and, and uh, a lot of friends calling to <laughs> To, to get them a ticket, but I, I don't have anything, you know? So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a great weekend. It's intense, it's nice, you know, the, the people. It's crazy to think that it's only Friday. I think we're gonna find a very good track in terms of uh, grip. Very dirty, very dirty one. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Checo, finally, we're going to have you with Red Bull, aquí en México. Viva México. You know, there's just a real fever. There's so many people wearing the Red Bull shirts and caps around that they're willing him to win this Grand Prix. But of course, there's a World Championship at stake. He's been here before, but not with the same opportunity, not with a, a team that's won several Grand Prix. And, uh, you know, it'll be really interesting to see how he steps up. I want to win every heavy race from now on. You know, I want to be fighting for the victory the next five races and uh, finish my season on a high, build all that confidence and build all that knowledge with the team. That will be critical to start the next year's on, on the right foot. It has suited us in the past, and I'm hoping, of course, it will suit us again this year. But it, it's going to be all about just, you know, putting a good car on the track in terms of setup. Uh, hopefully, the engine is going to run smooth. All these kind of things are going to make the difference. Mexico! Woo! 
It's like a man, a man of the people. We, we are in love with, with Checo. Uh, yeah, I'm optimistic. I really hope that uh, I'm able to put uh, that perfect lap. Yeah, it's a very enjoyable track uh, and obviously the best crowd of the season. Well, there's always a lot of talk ahead of any Grand Prix, wh whether the circuit suits one team uh, or the other. Historically, this has been a track Red Bull have been very strong, we're at altitude. So we, we need to see whether the form from Friday, which had Max fastest, continues through qualifying in the race. Checo being a Mexican driver, it, it really gives you that sense of home support. You hear the crowd cheering. You don't need to work out you know, what car that is going through the stadium. You can tell by the cheers, it's Checo. How about the tires, Checo? I'm still struggling with front end in the low speed. Ah. So Checo has to back out. Unbelievable. I don't know what happened into 10. Uh, Yuki driving slow and then Checo caught, well, got caught out, I think, because of it. And I arrive around, of course, the blind corner and I see a lot of dust. I, I think, you know, maybe a car spun or crashed or whatever. I was too close to him on braking. Once I broke, there was no downforce and, and I, I just lost it. So I'd rather finish on the podium than not finish, so I will give my maximum tomorrow. It's pretty special. Uh, when I think back to, to all what, I, what I've done in, in my life, you know, as a Mexican, going into Europe at the age of 14, with just a single way ticket, you know, never knowing what, what's going to happen. I'm crazy. I, am, um, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. But I, I was just very passionate about, about it. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice to come back as a, as a F1 winner. I can see that the people are really enthusiastic. It's my first year with Red Bull, but I've experienced this support for many years, you know, and it's just amazing. For these people, it doesn't matter where I, where I finish. They just come here, support me, give me so much love, and it's something I appreciate a lot. My dream was always related to on track, you know. I wanted to be a world champion, to win a lot of races in Formula One and so on. And I kind of forget what what's the impact you have out of the sport. And um, that's something that only with time, and I think once I'm finished and I look back, I'll, I'll say, wow, the, I had a huge impact in, in, the, in, the, in, in my country, in the sport. and and so on, but that's something that as a driver, as an athlete, you don't really think about it, you know, you, you are race by race and thinking about the next one and so on, you are so much into your zone that you hardly take the time to, to think about it. Having this opportunity to be, to be able to compete with the best and, and um, yeah, have a serious chance of winning the race is very different. A great privilege to have all my family, friends, and um, the yeah, fans. Simply lovely, that Max. Car behind Hamilton, then Checo. You're the fastest car as well. That's like really good. Constantly changing my mind. Feels like I'm burning inside. Will we ever be different? Will we always be distant? Cause something that I need to tell you. Maybe we can do this together. Grab my car. Let's go for a ride. Thank you. Yes! What a race! <laughs> Thank you. We wanted more there, I know, but it was impossible. Thanks to all the fans. This is an amazing day. Thank you, guys.
Oh, I mean, it feels really good to, to win, of course. Uh, yesterday wasn't really our day, but of course the points are today and uh, we won and finished third. So as a team, you know, it almost couldn't have gone better. And uh, yeah, that's what we want and we have to keep on going like that. I mean, uh, we work for both championships, of course, so to close the gap like that today was, was really good. And, you know, Czech has really been on, on fire the last few races, so if we can uh, pull that off as well, that would be uh, amazing. It was a pretty intense week, you know, it was hard to keep the focus on, you know, not to be distracted by, by the people, the intensity. It was such an extreme uh, session today and, and the whole weekend, you know, so it went really well. I'm very happy for, for the team result, uh, very happy that Red Bull won in my country and that we got the podium, you know. Max had a great start, got the braking just right for turn one and um, then after that we seem to have a better tired egg, so he's just able to ease away. No, it's 30 years since my first Grand Prix victory with Williams, um, with Ricardo Petrezzi here in Mexico. So to have 30 years at the sharp end has um, been a hell of a career. I, I win the championship here in 1987 and uh, racing car in, in Cup, Marlboro Cup. And now the podium of my son, fantastic. It's incredible. I think so. The future is fantastic. For, for Checo. The family is here, everybody's there. The, the Checo, Chequito, no? Incredible. I think so. It's one of the best days of my life. I really feel I'm very proud of my brother, you know, because this is a dream come true of, of me, my father, my mom, my sister. And he's making come true, you know, so this is. It means a lot to, to me and to my family. Let's win the championship and yeah. I, I will bring it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. It's a big day for us. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Good day for Mexico. So. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you, man. Let's get the job done. Finish. Yeah. You know, we are entering uh, the final stage of the season, so we just have to keep the pressure on, keep trying to be as per perfect as possible. And yeah, um, I'm sure that at the end of the year, there will be two great reasons to celebrate.